Hi, welcome to ITU Telecom World 2014 in Doha in the state of Qatar. And I'm very pleased to be joined by Fred Matiangi, who is Minister of the Ministry of Information, Communication Technology for Kenya. Uh, Mr. Matiangi, th thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Minister, I'd like to start off by asking you, the central theme here at ITU Telecom World 2014 is future in focus. What developments in technology, policy or business do you see as key to the near future? Uh, one, of course, the greatest thing about uh, the future is we're in the era of big data. And um, management, governance, business, uh, and virtually all aspects of our lives are going to be driven by data and how we manage data as we go, how we manage data as we move forward. So, so, so the development of um, various platforms uh, on which we uh, manage, manipulate, uh, and use big data uh, to organize ourselves is critical and is going to be very critical as we go forward. That's why it is absolutely inconceivable to think about uh, development post-2015 uh, without looking at how the uh, ICT will play a role in that framework. And what is Kenya's priority in that future? Broadband. Ensuring that uh, you know we move uh, and enhance our broadband footprint across the country uh, because that is how we can achieve inclusion, uh, that's how we can achieve participation, and that's how we can afford our people access and ensure that our people come into the global community of communication as, as it were. So we're working together across the board, private sector players, we in government, uh, through policy and legislation to ensure that uh, we enhance the broadband footprint in our country. And by broadband, do you mean mobile or fixed? Both, uh, because uh, in, in many countries in Africa, and ours is not an exception, there is necessity at the moment, because of, of various infrastructural development, to ensure that we, we, we work on enhancing both uh, uh, fixed and, and mobile broadband. But going into the future, because of the way technology is going, whether we are supporting shared infrastructure frameworks, uh, mobile broadband is going to be uh, faster, uh, cheaper to uh, uh, deploy and most importantly of course highly accessible. So we may have a bias towards mobile broadband but we are also doing uh, uh, fixed as it were because we are having several programs right now that are in, uh, working towards investing in uh, um, uh, fixed broadband. And, and how is Kenya, what steps is Kenya taking uh, in enabling its people to benefit from developments in technology? Investing heavily in uh, infrastructure development, ICT infrastructure development, fast through policy, mainstreaming ICTs and ensuring that ICT is mainstreamed in all our infrastructure development. Through legislation also identifying ICT as a critical uh, infrastructure. We, we, are, we are writing a law in Kenya. We are calling the Critical Infrastructure and Utilities Bill, which will make all ICT infrastructure critical and we can protect it as a as, as critical installation or critical aspect of our security and our economic development. And in addition to the government investing resources, we are developing frameworks through which we work with private sector players to ensure that sufficient resources go into building infrastructure across the board so that we can enhance inclusion and enhance access and of course affordability by our people. Now I know there's been talk here of Smart Africa, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about that and your involvement in it. We've come together, uh, right now, about nine countries in the continent. We, we, we've come from, we're walking from this philosophy. It is very good for each of us as a country individually to develop and enhance our ICT status. But it's better to organize ourselves according to regions across Africa. But it's best to connect the continent so that we are all connected as it were. So that it's not good enough uh, for Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda or South Sudan or South Africa to achieve a certain level of ICT development because we must live in a community that is connected across the board. So partly as a way of supporting uh, you know, ITU's framework of Connect 2020, we want to ensure that we connect the whole continent and Smart Africa is looking at, 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 at that. And really the focus is policy, capacity building, and infrastructure development, really. In terms of, when you look at the Smart Africa Manifesto, the five pillars can be summarized all in the three words that I've talked about. The policy, infrastructure, and of course, capacity for our people. So we're working together to share experiences, compare notes, and share resources that we have across the continent to be able that we achieve a connectivity in the continent and we build the capacity and uplift some of our countries on the continent that may not be at the level at which some of the others are. Because ICT is going to be a critical equalizer 
in enhancing development. So we are no longer talking about poverty alleviation. We are talking about enhancing connectivity as a way of building a vibrant communication community on the continent. And Smart Africa is a core focus for mobilization for this. Now, I know there's been a lot of great conversations here over the last few days. I wanted to find out if you got a message to impart to the people who are here, to the participants here at ITU Telecom World, but also the people who are watching uh, back at, in their offices and at home. Very simple. One, it's inconceivable for us to talk about world development of any kind without focusing on ICTs. So I think it's not just a question of even mainstreaming ICTs in all aspects of our planning, but it's looking at ICTs as the critical enabler to all forms of development across the board. So all of us, all government and private sector players, must now have a conversation on how we build sustainable partnerships to enhance the development of ICTs across the board. There is no single or regional governance framework that will be able to do this on their own. It must be a collective effort that brings together private and public players to be able to achieve this. And we are willing to play our part as a country and uh, our colleagues on the region and of course most importantly as a, as, a, as a family on the continent of Africa to ensure that uh, we bring our people together. Uh, the next decade will redefine how we live and what will actually do that redefinition is ICT and then and, and we will have uh, uh, to live in communities that have been reconstructed, reconceptualized, reordered and reorganized thanks to the ICTs and, and, and how we deploy ICTs is critical to our development. It's no longer a question of discussing ICTs as an addition to the agenda for the global community but it should be the first agenda for the global community as we move forward because it pervades all sectors, especially when you look at the three criticals, you know, health, education, and even economics, the development of the digital economy is critical to the uh, uh, development of the world. I understand the attendant challenges to it, fine, but I think ICT has now become too important to be discussed in isolation of other aspects of world development. Now, this uh, event, ITU Telecom World uh, 2014, uh, is a very much a key event in ITU's calendar. I know you're no stranger to ITU events. I wanted to ask you, what is the value for you in attending such events? I, I love this event for, for this simple reason. It's an opportunity to meet um, global partners. And in the ICT sector, we talk about global partners to share experiences. They are, they are countries and governments that have deployed better, that have achieved more, uh, that have uh, registered greater, for example, broadband penetration. These events provide an opportunity for us to learn, to share experiences, and sometimes to actually uh, share solutions to some of the challenges that we may be facing on the continent. And every time we attend these events, we move closer to the goal of global connectivity, because we realize where the gaps are, and we develop strategies on how to bridge those gaps. So, so these events are really important. I mean, it's a one-stop shop for all players, and it's an all-inclusive framework that facilitates our move towards our desired goals of achieving global connectivity. Finally, very briefly, a question we've been asking everybody who's been coming into the studio is what key technological innovation do you see will be make the most difference uh, for the next five or 10 years? Mobile broadband. In my view, our lives and uh, all aspects of uh, you know how we live today and including economic uh, transactions are going to be transformed by mobile uh, uh, broadband whether it is uh, through uh, uh, medicine provision of education uh, provision of uh, public sector services they are all going to be affected by mobile broadband and and and, uh, and I keep saying that uh, in my view and for us as a country in Kenya, our three objectives are broadband, broadband, broadband. Because that is the highway to inclusivity, that is the highway to participation in economic development, that is the highway to knowledge sharing and dissemination, and that is the super highway to a knowledge-based economy as we move forward, uh, you know, to the next decade or so. So the opportunities that mobile broadband will provide for innovation, for example, development of applications, job creation, we are going to live in the era of wallless classrooms thanks to mobile broadband. And every aspect of our life will be reconfigured. School will be reconfigured. The practice of medicine will be reconfigured. The process of governance will be reconfigured thanks to mobile broadband.
That's what I think. Minister Matiangi, thank you very much for sharing these wonderful insights with us and uh, we look forward to catching up with you soon. Thank you so much for the opportunity and all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.